What's going on YouTube? I am back with another video and this one we are headed to another local card show. So I know I mentioned uh, in last week's video, if you guys did see that card show video, that I wasn't sure if we were gonna have another one before the next release of my fire packs because typically the one I'm going to today is the J&J &J All Star uh, card show. Typically it's the last weekend of uh, the month but with Thanksgiving, I wasn't sure if they were going to have it, but they did move it up a week. So uh, here we are. That is the show we are headed to. Super excited. Definitely, definitely need to make some more last minute pickups for uh, the next series of fire packs, as well as like some five to $20 cards for the uh, Black Friday packs, which we'll be rele uh, releasing next week. So uh, excited to head to the show. We are uh, heading out a little bit late. Show starts at nine. It's 845 right now and i still have to go to the atm and get some cash uh so i'm gonna stop rambling and we are gonna head to the show here in a minute but real quick i just wanted to show you guys a card that i did just pull off camera so i went to meyer this morning to check and see if they stocked sure enough they were absolutely loaded really wanted to get some more select hanger packs but unfortunately they did not have any of those but they had a ton of select blasters so i decided to grab one since they were actually 20 percent off at meyer so uh kind of surprising sports cards were 20 percent off uh but i split the packs with my wife and she was like who are we looking for and i was like i don't know Cade cunningham jalen green and she pulls this card and she was like is this good and uh i don't know if you guys can see that but it's a Cade cunningham courtside and I was like, yeah, that's pretty good. We'll take that. So uh, the morning is off to a good start. So I'm excited to keep it going. So let's head to the ATM, get some cash, and then I'll check back in along the way. All right, guys, so just made it to the show. It is about 9.15, so we're a little bit late. Again, show did start at 9. Uh, judging from the turnout in the parking lot, it looks like it's going to be a pretty solid show. Uh, usually, this show does get going a little bit later, usually around like 9.30 or 10. Uh, and there's already a decent amount of cars here. So, uh, yeah, it should be a pretty good turnout. And you guys already know what we're looking for. Again, we're looking for Black Friday packs and um, the next series of fire packs. So, we already went to the ATM, got our cash, so we are ready to head in, and I'll check back in once we're inside. What's up? How are you doing? Yeah, you been? Pretty good. Pretty good. I thought you might be in Chicago today. Nah, I don't really like that show. Really? I, I went once before and I didn't think it was that great. Mm -hmm. There's a, it's a lot of, a lot of vintage, which is not really my thing. So. Yeah. What's the price on the Zion my house? I have no idea what those are doing. I haven't looked it up in a while either. I could do Zion for 85. 85? Like, what are they going for? Uh, 100 was the last one. 100, okay. Um, okay, let me see if I can find anything else. What about the Giddy? You have any idea on that? I can look that up real quick. I'd imagine that's not too much. I'll do 10 on it. 10, okay. Um. What about the Cade variation? Oh, these, these are down a little bit. 15 bucks is what I could do that for. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Um, okay, let's see. Um, 15, 15. Could you just do 100 for the three? Uh, for which three? The, the Zion, the Cade, and the Giddy? Yep. Okay. Yeah. All right, sweet, man. I appreciate it. No problem. I appreciate you. There you go. If you like one more than the other, you can take the one you like. Uh, okay, yeah, I'll take a look. Yeah, I'll we'll go with that one. Alright, All right. thank you. Appreciate your business. Yeah, thank you. Alright, 
Somewhere around 200, 210 maybe added up. Like 160? 160. Uh, yeah, I think I'd do that. Appreciate it. Yeah. Appreciate your content on YouTube. Oh, thank you. It's the first time I'm setting up here, but. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, normally, normally I can kind of used to what people have. I saw, I saw yeah. some new stuff here, so. I set up at Xenia every month. Oh, and, really? Uh, yeah. I just figured to throw in an extra yeah. show here or there. For sure. Well, ho hopefully you do pretty good. I appreciate it. Yeah, appreciate it. You care if I pull it out and check it yeah, out? Yeah, go ahead. All right. I'm appreciate it. That when the owner came out and said what <laughs> that Major League Baseball did not have a call with him and said, dude, you can think that, but don't say that shit out loud. Well, we might not. Like, maybe they all say, you know what? That's why you're looking like, you need to sell your team out. Did you do a hundred on it? Is that one ten? I do a hundred on it. Okay. I, don't, I, hadn't, I didn't see a sale on it in a while. There was one for one seventy five. Yeah, I didn't even look. It's gone down a lot since then. Well, I think that was best offer, and I didn't check the offer. Yeah. But then one, one before that was ninety. So exactly. I figured, yeah, hundred is yeah. probably pretty fair. Yeah, Sixty, eighty, one. Right. Yeah, thank you. Yep, no problem. All right, guys, just wanted to check in real quick. It is almost 11, so I'm only planning on staying probably another 20 minutes or so at the show. So as you can see behind me, a uh, pretty decent turnout. I've done probably two or three laps around the show so far. Started out really, really hot, made around like 15 pickups so far. Uh, so before we leave in like 20 more minutes, would love to make at least like five to 10 more pickups. Uh, picked up a mix of cards for the fire packs and the uh, Black Friday mystery packs. So uh, yeah, just wanted to check in real quick, give a quick update and we'll see what, what else we can find. And I'll check back in along the way. Hey, uh, Frank wants to price on some stuff. That's mine. And that's mine, and that's mine. Oh, those are all yours? Yeah, and that's mine. No, he don't know crazy. Who's the legal status? Is that mine? Yes. I love those flexible inserts. I have this one and this one. You seen that the, the LeBron, Luca, one like that number is placed. Okay, those? You need to put number three on them. You graded these two? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, so are you interested in this? Deal? What? Are you interested in this? Mm -hmm. so yeah, those four. Ten bucks on that. Okay. Twenty-five. Is that? Um. Where's your? I think those those two were both right around like a hundred bucks. So, so I eighty on those. So sixty. You're getting 10 bucks at 185. Uh, could we just do 180? Yeah, 180. I don't have any fives. Okay. All right, sweet. I appreciate it. I did 170. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. There's one. I'm going to buy that stuff for the $100. Wait, because I'm going to try to get a deal on all of them. Let's go, then. I want to buy it. It's a, already spent. Yeah, he's already gone. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right guys, so just walked out of the show right at 11 o'clock. So I was in there just under two hours. And uh, since I made that last clip where I checked in a little bit, um, I, I made two more pickups. So I ended up uh, closing it out somewhere around 15, 16 pickups. So uh, some of them are gonna go in those Black Friday packs. Some will be for the fire packs. And then I did make one soccer pickup that's, uh, that I'm probably gonna look at grading. Uh, so I'll definitely show you guys that when I get home. So uh yeah not really too much to say the first couple of laps like i said earlier uh made a lot of pickups and then towards the end of the show wasn't really seeing as much so i uh, was happy with what i was able to pick up 
uh, went to the show with $600 cash, left with $0 cash, plus sent some Venmo, so uh, went through all the cash, so uh, definitely made a good amount of pickups. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and head on home and I'll show you guys everything that we picked up. All right guys, so we have made it back home from the show. I'm recording this clip on the following day. So um, hopefully most of these prices will be still uh, be pretty fresh in my mind. So as you can see, made a decent amount of pickups, somewhere around like 15, 16 cards, somewhere in there. Uh, most of them are gonna be for the Black Friday packs and the next uh, fire packs, but I did make a couple um, PC slash uh, miscellaneous pickups. So we'll go ahead and start with those. So first up, I did pick up a flux appeal Giannis, the blue parallel to 99 um i uh, picked this up from connor's and one sports cards for uh, i think like 10 bucks uh and there's definitely going to be some more pickups that i made from them so shout out to them always super easy to work with uh if you remember back to the last show uh made most of my pickups from them uh, and made some more at this show so anyway we picked up the flux appeal this has always been one of my favorite inserts really really like the look of this and uh blue parallel again to 99 super cheap like 10 bucks so that's going to stay in the pc uh big fan of Giannis. love the flux appeal so i wanted to pick that one up and then the next one i picked up uh, this one, I guess it's kind of miscellaneous because I'm planning on grading this one, um, and potentially flipping it depending on how it does. Uh, but I, I figured this was a pretty good time, uh, to pick up, uh, Vinny Jr. Uh, he is in the Brazil, uh, uniform, which in my opinion, uh, I think the, the soccer players, especially around now with the world cup, I think, uh, the cards where the players are in, you know, representing their country on the card rather than their club, I think are going to do better. Just my opinion. Let me know your guys' thoughts uh, in the comments below. I'd be interested to know. Would you rather pick up a player for the club or the country? In my opinion, I'd rather pick up an American player in the American uh, jersey. So anyway, I uh, thought this was a pretty good price. I did check and see if I could find comps. I couldn't find any sold, but there was one yesterday with like three days left at like $9. So price marked on that one was 10 and i did pick this one up in a lot as well so i'm not sure the exact price i paid on it but probably going to look to send that to sgc if uh, the condition does check out and hopefully get it back pretty quick while uh, the world cup is still going on and then next up um let's see i kind of mixed these up so i'll just kind of go through them one by one um uh, picked up a cade cunningham uh, prism variation this one is going to go in the uh, black friday packs and um, i asked how much the the person wanted on this one and i honestly hadn't checked in a while wasn't sure what they were going for and he said uh 15 so these have definitely come down quite a bit i know when prism retail first released these were like 50 60 bucks so i was kind of shocked uh that he was asking 15 dollars on that one so we got the cade cunningham variation and then a nice one here we got a santi aldama uh prism orange ice auto so uh, these are very, very hard to pull. These come out of those Prism Hanger Packs, uh, the Orange Ice Autos, not easy pulls. It is a rookie auto, and I picked this one up for like 20 bucks, so super cheap. Thought that one would be a really cool addition in those Black Friday Packs. So I'm pretty happy about the uh, the Black Friday Packs, the way they turned out. There's going to be a lot of value in there, including the Scotty Barnes Prism Silver, which does look to be pretty well-centered. That's a common theme at these shows. You see a lot of... Uh, prism that people have pulled and the centering is just atrocious like 80 20 or 90 10 just way way off center uh talked about that a little bit at, with people at the show but this one looks to be pretty good so this is going to be another black friday pack edition as well as the josh giddy and i can't i want to say i want to say i picked this one up for 20 25 bucks somewhere in there and then I picked up the Josh Giddy Obsidian Rookie. This one is uh, just a base, so not numbered, uh, but cool Josh Giddy Rookie. And uh, man, I don't even know, maybe 10 bucks on this one, can't remember. I think I picked this one up with a couple other cards. So another Black Friday pack edition, as well as the next couple. So I'll go ahead and show these together. Um, I did pick these up in a lot with a couple other cards. Got a pretty good discount. So uh, for the most part, I'm pretty familiar with all of the dealers at these local shows, but there were a couple dealers, uh, a couple new dealers who had you know fresh inventory that I had never seen before. Um, so spent a good amount of time at those tables. And this did come from one of those new dealers that had never set up at the show before. And he had some pretty cool stuff that I was interested in. So these are going to be Black Friday pack editions as well. We got another Josh Giddy Prism Cracked Ice. And then also a LaMelo Ball 
uh, Prism 75th anniversary. So some really nice additions there. And then I believe the remaining cards are all gonna be fire pack additions. So really cool in here. I love these Obsidian T-Mall um, red floods. I'm not sure if the green floods come in T-Mall as well, or if those are in Hobby. I'm not sure, but the the Obsidian flood cards look so, so good in my opinion. And Tyrese Maxey, even though he's a former Kentucky player, he is absolutely balling for the 76ers, uh, playing really, really well. So uh, his stuff is, is definitely on the rise. So really cool card there, Red Flood. That one will be in the next Fire Pack series, as well as the LeBron 75th anniversary, another pickup from Connors and One Cards. Uh, shout out to them. So really nice one there, LeBron 75th. So love that parallel. Look, that looks uh, really nice. And then we picked up a Zion My House Hollow PSA 10. Uh, I believe I picked this one up for around 80 bucks. These are doing about 100 bucks. So a nice fire pack addition there. And then I picked these two up as well. So we got the Lamello uh, Select Green, White, and Purple PSA 10, as well as the Anthony Edwards Red, White, and Green Cracked Ice PSA 10. So this is the Concourse. This is going to be the Premier Level, both PSA 10s. Really nice fire pack additions there. And then uh, back to the Obsidian Team All, we got the Red Flood RPA from Cole Anthony. And again, this, uh, you can kind of tell, I picked uh, from the stickers here. Th these all came from the same dealer. I believe the total on the four or five cards I picked up was around $225. Ended up getting all the cards from this one dealer for 160, so pretty steep discount. So I really did appreciate that. And he said he watches the channel, enjoys the content. So shout out to him. Do appreciate the deal. So really cool one here. I just I don't know. I, let me know your guys' thoughts, but I love these these flood cards out of Obsidian. I think they look really really nice. So sucker for those. And then we got another Tyrese Maxi rookie card. This one's out of Spectra, numbered to 99. This did come from that same dealer again. Uh, so I didn't pay anywhere near that. At 65 and uh numbered at 99 so thought that was a pretty good deal again maxi balling out his stuff is definitely going up and then yet another maxi so we got a um mosaic genesis national pride uh, price marked on that one was 110 i believe i got this one for either 90 or 100 which i thought was pretty spot on there was comp a uh, few comps for right around 100 bucks so uh really nice pickup there so uh I actually didn't realize I picked up three Maxi cards until I'm going through this again. But uh, yeah, I think I think Maxi's a good buy right now. Uh, playing really, really well. Future of the 76ers, in my opinion. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Let me know your favorite pickup down below in the comments. Uh, definitely interested to know. And I will see you soon.